Hi everybody! I got two 15 minute sessions and they're for animals. So I'm gonna start with Mauser the cat. I did a little mini session with Mauser. This was last week, I think I, I shared it. I'll put a link to the little mini session with Mauser. So I'm, I'm connecting with Mauser the cat today and Bunny the dog. And Mauser and Bunny are going on a road trip and it's gonna take two days to get to the destination. So there's gonna be some hours of driving. And uh, so the client is wanting me to connect um, with the animals one at a time um, to prepare them for the trip. Um, Mauser has anxiety issues in the car and Bunny um, has a tendency to pant a lot when, when the driving experience is going on so it can be very exhausting. So I'm going to start with Mauser and uh, I'm going to go ahead and talk with Mauser today and we'll see what we can do to prepare um, her for this trip. Okay. Okay. I feel a... I feel a weird mirror and it's almost like a mirror and a mirror and a mirror and a mirror and it's the same image um, and it's a cat. So this would be defined as Mauser the cat. But I see many echoes of Mauser and they're just like all mirrors. So there's just many reflections of Mauser here. And there's something about the center of the mirror that is a heart. Um, so I actually experienced Mauser on her back and then there's her heart, but this is all um, kind of in a, a vertical way so I'm sort of looking straight at Mauser's heart as though she's standing like a person and then many echoes of her. Her heart looks like a beautiful jewel like a big red beautiful ruby super intricate it's really held into place by a, a net like it looks like a net that you would catch fish with and there's something dried up about her appearance. Hmm. I'm gonna ask. I'm gonna ask um, Mauser. What in the world does this mean? It's like Mauser's not in her body. <laughs> That's kind of what this is like right now. It's like Mauser's not hanging out in her body. It's almost just like uh, exploring things. I'm just gonna wait for a moment. And I, I ring a doorbell in Mauser's energy field and I say, hello, anybody here? Mauser, I'm coming to check on you. I want to let you know tomorrow's a big day. You're going to be leaving tomorrow for the road trip. So I want to make sure that I prepare you. You have a little bit of love and nurturing before, before leaving. Hmm. There's a lot of silence right now. Even no response to my doorbell. So I'm gonna have to I'm gonna have to do some things here. So I'm basically just no you don't, you're not hiding from me, and Mauser, you're right here, right in front of me. No more fun and games. We're talking right now. This is our special time to talk, and I really want to talk with you. Mauser's kinda agitated. It doesn't really want to talk. Actually kind of gets the claws out and is a little bit standoffish towards me standing at the door. And I just pick Mauser up and I say, I want you to just take a nice deep breath. You do not have to feel this burden. You do not need to carry stress. It's okay, Mauser. And I tell Mauser that um, life is a much more peaceful experience, believe it or not, when we are fully embracing it. If we are projecting our soul out of our body, um, we are resisting life. And this experience is to help you learn about embracing. And I, I bring you in you the client, I bring you in and have you standing right next to Mauser. And I say, look who's here, Mauser. You're, 
your human companion <laughs> is here with you, is not going to leave you this entire trip. And you're going to be taken care of. And your calling is to actually open up to being taken care of. We know how good you are at taking care of everybody else, Mauser. You're really great at taking care of everybody else. But it's time for you to be taken care of. And you need to allow this to take place. You get to be the special one. You get to be taken care of this time. I show Mauser, you'd sent me a cute little picture of the little home that Mauser gets to hang out in in the car ride and the cute little blanket and um, so cute. And I'm showing this to Mauser. That this will be a safe place for you. Hauser's got so many fears and anxieties. Um, I'm going to tell you something. I can imagine that um, getting this feedback about how Mauser's feeling might make you really hesitant on the trip. But I'm going to tell you something very important here because th this isn't Mauser gets to decide what happens here. Actually, there's some sort of higher calling that Mauser has this experience. Because um, Mauser's soul um, has something to learn um, about embracing the experience, not resisting or running away from something Mauser doesn't want, um, but also trusting you um, and allowing you to take care of Mauser. Mauser needs to have this experience, okay? That's quite loud and clear. Um, that Mauser needs to have this experience. It's almost like like kids, you know. Um, they don't want to do this, and they don't want to do that. And even if it's good for them, they definitely don't want it. And then when they're actually doing that thing that they resisted, they're like, oh, well, this wasn't so bad, you know? So so you got to take the bull by the horns here. This is going to be extremely good for Mauser, all right? Which is also going to be extremely good for you. And there's going to be a very special bonding experience in this. And just so you know, I will relax Mauser down. It just, just bear with me here, okay? <laughs> I'm actually introducing Mauser to a car vehicle. And I'm opening the door. And I'm actually gently picking up Mauser and I'm placing her in the car. And I have the cute little um, home, little cat home. And... Um, the soft little cat home and the little blanket and the litter box and I'm showing Mauser that she's got everything she needs she's actually uh, here and looking around right now it's not all of Mauser by the way now I'm starting to understand what these echoing parts are. I need to have more of her consciousness here because it's all, it's like too light. Um, it's too light. She's kind of, um, she's clever, all right? So this is a very light representation of her totality. Um, I can feel that. And this light representation is actually um, okay with this, is uh, adapting to it, but it's too light. I can feel it. It's She's not allowing me to take all of her. So I gotta, I'm going to have to do a little bit of, a little bit of work here, but um, it's actually going to be pretty easy for me to bring more of Mauser in here. I just snap my fingers. The mirrors are gone. There's no more echoes. It's all you and all of you in one beautiful little bundle and you're in the car now and we're taking a look at this experience, Mauser. And I put Bunny in the vehicle and I say, see, you're not alone. And I put you in the vehicle too. You are safe, Mauser. Mauser jumps onto the floor in the back seat and kind of hides almost underneath the chair and feels safer here underneath the chair. I'm just going to watch this for a little bit. 
because this is almost a sign that it's going to be a little baby steps. So Mauser may feel uncomfortable at first, um, even kind of hiding in places, not using the cute little house. Um, but there's an adaptation to the experience that needs to take place. So I, I see her crouching and hiding, but I also see her um, getting used to the rhythm and the sounds, um, feeling Bunny's energy, your energy, and I'm starting to feel a little bit more safe and relaxing, okay? So I do experience her relaxing and she's falling asleep um, down uh, where the feet, where you would put your feet. She's falling asleep down there. And I will say what she emanates to me is that she doesn't dislike you for this experience. She's just trying to cope with it the best way that she knows how. That's what she's showing me. So don't feel bad um, if you see her doing this. This is just her way of coping with the experience. And she doesn't hold anything against you. And I say, okay, so we're acclimating you to the car. We're acclimating you to the experience. <sighs> Is there a reason why you were so resistant? You didn't want to answer the door when I came? What was that all about? <laughs> Mauser's kind of, this is really lighthearted. Um, but it's almost like um, if death walks to your door, are you going to answer it? <laughs> She's like, I'm the undertaker. This experience is like preparing for the undertaker. <laughs> it's kind of what she's alluding to. <laughs> she actually, um, it's such a good joke that she actually um, like surprises herself because she feels kind of lighthearted now. <laughs> she's like kind of happy for like right now. She's kind of surprised by feeling happy. I'm going to bring Bunny in here because I just really want to see um, what what Bunny does in Mauser's spiritual atmosphere. I just want to see and how Mauser reacts to Bunny's energy. Hmm. Mauser says that it's, it's something like, um, it's like she's always connected to everybody. So with Bunny in the car and you in the car, um, she's going to be feeling out everybody's energy, but she's going to be working through her own experience experiences. So, she, so if she has to comfort Bunny, she's probably not going to be able to. That's kind of what she's saying. Mauser's like um, the head of the family. <laughs> <laughs> this is what Bowser's like. They mm. take care of everybody. <laughs> I say, okay, Mauser, is there anything? I'm going to just set this whole thing on the side. We've made some really amazing strides here. Is there anything... Um, anything else that I can do for you that maybe on some other topic... So this is a bit hard to hear, but it has something to do with fulfilling a purpose. Um, fulfilling a purpose with you that is super important for your life. And it has to do with communication. You and Mauser communicating, and it's super important for your life. Um, life purpose kind of thing. And she says that she's going to put her feelings on the side um, because this is so important to you and even to her too. That there's a, a learning about um, communication, psychic communication with Mauser. And Mauser knows this. Mauser actually does know this. At least Mauser senses it.
She says nothing. Um, she, there was a really quick image, and it's here's Mauser, here's you. You're really close together. You're looking at each other. So Mauser's looking up at you. You're looking down at Mauser, and there's a giant vehicle that just and just gets in between you. But then it disappears, and Mauser says there's nothing that is going to get in between what we are going to experience together. That's <laughs> what she says. I'm going to let Mauser do what is a comfort experience for her. And I'm going to let Mauser come and comfort you. Because when Mauser is comforting you, it comforts herself, actually. Because she's like a real... Um, she wants to make sure everybody's happy is kind of her nature. So in making sure you're taken care of, it actually helps her to cope with her own experiences. Interesting. So... Um, so Mauser, we're creating a new scenario. This isn't necessarily in the car, it's just kind of in a space. And I have you sitting on a chair. And Mauser jumps on your lap and tells you that everything is gonna be okay. And you pet Mauser and you say kind things to Mauser and Mauser just purrs and rubs up against you and tells you that everything is gonna be okay. Everything is gonna be okay. And as Mauser says that and you speak to Mauser and the purring gets louder, like she just gets so happy, like because she's making you so happy, she feels like she's fulfilling her purpose. So um, she's getting happier and happier feeling how happy you're getting because of her. So she's the special one, you know, I make her, I make people happy and it makes me really happy. So she's like purring away right now. <sighs> And she wants to nurture you. In a weird way, she kind of acts like she's smarter than you. <laughs> like she knows more than you know. I don't know if it's like some sort of weird ego thing. I, but she does. She's like the mother and you're like the child. And so she's taking care of you. <laughs> and because she has to take care of you as her role <laughs> is the way she's like um she has to be like smarter than you too it's kind, of, it's kind of what her mentality is here she's showing me this it's really cute actually it's like so cute in the way that she emanates it it's adorable I just see her and you on a bed and she's purring right up at your face and licking your face even. There's just so much fur um, and softness and purring noises and just love being shared in this image. <laughs> it's just total love right here. It's just lots and lots of love. It's like your best teddy bear coming and giving you hugs and snuggles and licks. <laughs> I don't, it's just like something so adorable and it's purring. That's what this is like right now. This is what the energy is like. Just like soft and furry and purry and cute and adorable. Like a snuggly teddy bear or something. It's just pure love. And this image makes um, Mauser's heart get really bright. And it takes away all the anxiety to remind herself of what brings joy to her heart. And it actually, um, I feel more solidity with her not um, echoing off like she was. I feel more solidity where she's actually okay to be in her own experience. Because she's being filled with love again and the love helps her to embrace life. So I see now Mauser is going into the cute little like soft house and making a point to show you that Mauser likes what you have gotten for her and thanks you for it. 
and thanks you for thinking of her and her needs. Mauser tells me that she knows that this trip is also going to be, I mean, obviously there's the car ride aspect and there's what she's saying about um, communication, um, psychic communication, you developing ability to communicate with her. But I feel that Mauser is saying that she's going to receive a lot of healing on this trip. And she doesn't show me that necessarily about the car, um, but she shows me that during the time that um, it's like the time where you're in a grounded place, that um, she's going to heal a lot. She shows me that. And she's looking forward to that experience. And she shows me what she understands it's going to feel like. And feels refreshing, revitalizing. It feels like brand new. It feels like a new... Um, it feels like being kind of like reborn in a way. I just realized where I'm at on time. <laughs> I better stop here. I'm just going to just chill out for just one more minute. This was so much fun with Mauser. I get carried away. Okay. And just giving her a big snuggle. And I tell her, thank you for everything that you've shared. I give her a kiss on the forehead. I say, I know this is really going to help. And I'm glad that I could be here to help you a little bit too. And hmm, your smiles. <laughs> okay, that's all I got for this session. I'm going to do bunny next, okay? Um, so thank you. And for those of you watching, um, if you're interested in working with me one-on-one, -on -one, please visit me at my website at abbynormalswisdomquest.com. I'm going to be putting a link um, to Mauser's first session and then the session with Bunny that I'm going to be doing next so you can have access to those. All right. Thank you all for watching.